Good morning, boys and girls. It's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm back at the Cycle Springs Power Sports Auxiliary lot today where they do their boat service in Oldsmar, Florida. I'm about to start on this Sea Doo uh, 150 Speedster. You can see, definitely have some mold to remove from the vinyl. Um, I'm sure the hatches and the, that kind of thing are moldy like down in there. Um, the gel coat, the reality is it's not too bad. I am going to have to hand polish in there quite a bit. This engine cover is definitely the worst part. You can see how oxidized that is. I'll, give you, I'll do a 50-50 so you guys can see exactly what's up with that. There's mold all over the seats. These are pretty cool boats, I'll be honest with you. If they still made these, I would probably buy one. Just because they're small, they're fun, they're fast, they're nimble. So. All right, that's what we're working with today. Little 15 footer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of the van. Uh, Something that I added to the van last night, I haven't been able to use it yet, but uh, it's that water tank up there. You know, it looks crazy. I'm actually going to add a strap to it, but it made it over here no problem. And then I've just attached that hose to it with a plug, a cap, so that it's not going to leak out. But it is actually full of deionized water right now. All right, that's the deal for today. So I'm going to get started. All right, so the first order of business was uh, I just pre-treated all the vinyl with my vinyl mold and mildew cleaner and so I literally just sprayed it on and already you can see how amazing it works um, I didn't bother with anything else yet I just literally sprayed it on and it's doing its thing so you can see how awesome of a job it does uh, next order of business was these numbers were all peeling off, so I pulled them all off and now I'm going to use some universal clean and prep. This is diluted uh, 2 ounces to 14 ounces of water in this spray bottle. And uh, the cool part about that is um, it's one part product to seven parts water and it does a phenomenal job of basically cleaning anything and removing uh, adhesive. So that's what I'm working on now is getting this adhesive gone. The vinyl mold and mildew uh, cleaner already did its thing. So just got to wipe them all down. It's pretty awesome stuff. You can get that at detailjuice.com. There you go. Good stuff literally sprayed it on the vinyl and the mold disappeared. All right, now to get the uh, thorough wash done and this adhesive gone, then I'm gonna start to polish. All right, so this crazy ridiculous sea -Doo, uh with this gel coat that's incredibly oxidized is a real pain in the butt. But, how about that? Bad day. Yeah. How's that look? Not bad, huh? So I tried Universal All in One from the One System, like I have been trying as my first step. You always want to use the least, least aggressive method first, and uh, so that's what I do. The Universal uh, All in One is generally pretty good but on heavy oxidation like this and the boat we did the other day which is actually right over here that blue one over there um when it's when the oxidation's that bad you're really going to need to cut a lot of times i could hit this with uh like 2500 grit sandpaper 2000 grit uh and then 
compound and polish and it looks great, but fortunately I was able to get it looking that good with just the Buff and Shine wool pad on the Harbor Freight DA and the brand new uh, Infinite Cut, which yes, that is my auto polish. The difference is on these newer gel coats that are colored uh, and you know, the, the, the newer, nicer stuff is a lot like painting either single stage paint or even clear coat for that matter uh, over actual gel coat of days of old that's real thick and uh, real hard to correct and that kind of thing. Um, I found on the newer gel coats like, you know, the newer Yamahas and then, you know, obviously they stopped making these sea dews but um, newer, I mean, since 2000 and newer, I would, I would say. The auto polishes work great. Uh, when it comes to really oxidized white gel coat or even the old school, thicker, harder stuff uh, is where my gel coat oxidation eater uh, compounding polish and my solitaire, that's the uh, gel coat cleaner wax situation. That's where those come into play is the really thick, uh, nasty stuff you could actually use gel coat oxidation eater and solitaire on this. I just didn't see the need, especially when I've got the infinite cut just chilling right there. But I could talk to you all day about this. But what I really want to do is finish this up so I can go pick up my boat and put it on the water. You can see how nasty this front area is. I am going to polish the front and we'll be back to show you another before and after. All right, still working on this Sea-Doo Speedster. But this uh, gel coat's coming out pretty good. I have just decided to try a couple of different things. The universal all-in-one from my one system and this orange pad did not do nearly enough on this heavy oxidation. Uh, the Buff and Shine wool pad does fantastic, but I wanted to check to see what the Eurocell uh, blue cutting pad would do. It does a pretty good job. Um, I would say slightly slower to cut than the wool, which should be expected. Uh, I did this section right here with the foam, this section right here with the wool. And so if I just pop the hood on this thing, or the engine cover, I guess that isn't going yet. There we go. I polished all in here too but I just want to show you real quick I also cleaned all in there um, I don't think we're lacking gloss per se on that section uh, it's a little bit dark I know sorry there we go so that's what it looks like untreated or unpolished and that's polished so I've done basically the entire border so in the jam here all over there and then all around and this whole side has been done with uh, the brand new 2019 version of infinite cut that's voc free and water based uh, it cuts so well whether you're working on gel coat or even automotive paint it works amazing um this is pretty bad as you can see but it comes out pretty nice let's see if we can get this lightened up for you there we go there we go now oh, you can see nice and shiny now that side is not yet but i'm working on it so i'm gonna go ahead and keep on keeping on I put the uh, girly friend Tony on the interior. She is MIA as usual. That's not true. She does a fantastic job. She ran to the restroom. So, all right, well, we are going to continue rocking and rolling. Um, I did get all those letters off. You can see the outline, both sides. Uh, I did use Universal Clean and Prep for those. You can see where they were. So I got all the adhesive off with Universal Clean and Prep, but the vinyl sticker situation just pulled right off. So, all right, I'm gonna keep on working. You can see that this section 
and that section have not been done yet, but I'm working on it. All right, without showing you too much because we're almost done, I do want to show you, where's the tape line? It's right here somewhere. Shit. There you go. You can see the tape line right there. So this side has been polished. It's all nice and smooth. Still gotta wipe some residue off right here, but for the most part, it's good. And then, again, I don't wanna give it away. It's looking pretty good, but there you go. There's your tape line right here. And then you can see where those vinyl stickers were or vinyl, vinyl uh, letters. See, it says uh, PC right there. So this is after polishing. That's uh, after just removing the letters. You can see the oxidation. All right, I'm gonna keep rolling and then we'll bring you back. I still gotta polish the hole and the rest of just that side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this Sea-Doo 150 Speedster is all done. Huge difference on this red gel coat, uh, if I do say so myself. I'll wipe it down, got a little bit of polisher splatter here and there, but it looks awesome. Uh, all the seats look great from the vinyl mold and mildew cleaner from detailjuice.com. They look clean and nice as they should. Gel coat is nice and glossy. Like I mentioned already, I brought that red back from a nasty pink to a nice vibrant deep red. See where those letters were? It was all polished. Now you can't even tell where they were at. They'll be cut. It'll be this area will be covered up with new letter letters anyway. Um, I polished the entire black hole. So I cut everything with the Harbor Freight DA, and what I used most was that Buff and Shine wool pad with Infinite Cut the 2019 VOC free and water-based version. And then um, I finished everything with a pass of the Harbor Freight DA on speed five with my universal all-in-one and uh, orange buff and shine pad. And she definitely came out amazing. So the only protection on this boat is going to be what ceramic acrylics uh, good stuff was left behind by the all-in-one polish. So the owner should be more than happy with that. Um, I had Tony on the interior. Uh, she cleaned everything out with Universal Clean and Prep and then um, wiped down the vinyl after it was clean with the vinyl mold and mild milder remover. We wiped all of it down with uh, diluted infinite use detail juice one. Uh, this was a customer boat for Cycle Springs here at the service center and I'm sure the customer will be very happy. All right, thanks you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble. If you wanna learn more about my products or my processes or you wanna schedule a detail, please give me a call at 813-846-4406 or check me out on Facebook, Instagram at gary.dean.35. Um, basically just reach out. I can't help you if you don't reach out. And uh, I definitely want to uh, help you in your detailing endeavors. So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. There's a lot of information in there about 
how I do things. I mean, a lot of people are so curious about how does Gary Dean do it? I get things done very quickly without cutting corners. I'm very efficient at what I do and my products and my processes scream efficient, efficiency and ease of use. So uh, if you got questions for me, feel free to ask. Um, give me one more view of the boat. She's looking pretty good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.